30,000 visitors are expected in Conway this weekend as the town hosts an art show with a difference alongside its annual food festival. Well, Sean Lloyd is there for us tonight. Sean. Claire, tomorrow these streets will be full of festival goers, but tonight we're getting a taste of what lies in store for them because many of these buildings will form the backdrop to a show-stopping media event that takes over the whole town. 800 years old, but at the forefront of technology. This World Heritage Site has been turned into a canvas for Wales's first digital arts festival, with the castle as its star. The images are created by multiple projectors, all being merged to create uh, one ultra-bright, ultra-powerful image. The content that's going to be projected is uh, as diverse as a starscape that was the sky when Edward I was in occupation, right through to um, a montage similar to that, that scene in a feature film which is more engaging for children. The technology has been used recently in China and the Middle East by a Welsh company who are bringing the art form back home. And the, the brightness of the projectors has, has gone forward bounds in the, in the past couple of years. Anything really is possible. And the place for this type of art is, is much wider than a gallery, for example. It's, because you can do it outside, because you can do it onto virtually any surface, it's, it's more accessible to more people. Conway's historic buildings will be brought to life in this festival of light, while the town's streets will be buzzing with visitors to the annual food festival. Organisers hope that by combining the two, they'll be appealing to more than just the taste buds. A regular date on the foodie calendar, Conway Feast showcases local produce and has won national awards as a community event. It also attracts some of the country's top culinary talent, in London's Primrose Hill, Bryn Williams from Denby is chef Patronat Odets and will be topping the bill of celebrity chefs in Conwy. Conway Feast is very important for Wales, uh, obviously being a community-based um, food festival. It's very important to Wales to highlight what we have to offer to the rest of the world because I firmly believe that Welsh ingredients can compete on an international level. A weekend of feasting on food and art is in store with around 30,000 visitors expected here over the next two days. So the scene is set and I can tell you during the course of the afternoon the aroma of dishes being prepared have been wafting through the town. I'm looking forward to sampling some of them tomorrow. Sean, it looks like the place to be. Thank you very much.